Hello, I'm Matt Cuff from House.com, and I'm here with Nick Jacobson from Oakley. Nick, how are you doing, man? Good, how are you? Uh, so good. I got a fresh pair of wind jacket 2.0s on right now. Um, this is kind of a combination, a goggles slash sunglass. They got reintroduced, was it last year or the year before? The year before, yep. The year before. Um, I remember, Kyle, I think Kyle Kelly rode these a lot. Yeah. These are nice. Uh, what's the story behind these wind jacket 2.0s? So if you kind of take a look at these, um, they really hark back to our, our days in 1984 when we released the eye shade, yeah. which was a revolutionary piece of eyewear uh -huh. um, that Greg LeMond basically took to uh, the Champs-Élysées and right. did his victory lap on. Um, but you kind of got a lot of design influence coming back from that. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to make sure that we could take our prism technology, which we had launched in goggles, and, mm -hmm. and bring it into um, more of a platform that was available to use in, in a broader range of environments, right? You're yeah. not always going to want to wear a pair of goggles, but you're going to want the technology of the prism lens yeah. and the snow lens across different different activities. So this awesome. allows you to, you know, spring skiing, um, glacier skiing, um, you know, really allows you to take that to, a, to another level. Oh man, so what does prism lens do? So prism lens allows you to see things that you've been missing. So okay. what we basically did was we took uh, an environment we were all too familiar with in skiing and snowboarding um, called Greybird, right? You go <laughs> in the morning, the it's worst. sunny, clouds roll in, <laughs> all definitions lost, you're above tree line, you gotta get back down for apres, Yeah. and you really wanna get there as soon as you can. So sure. um, with prism what we've done is we've actually matched the light in those situations, okay. found out what's bad and what's good, we've backed down the bad and we've boosted the good, right? Awesome. So we've been able to extract basically texture so you can kind of almost see how the snow is going to react to you mm -hmm. where in the past you've lost that contrast oh man so the difference between this and like a snowboard goggle or ski goggle is that this is a, a single lens is that this right is a single lens yep cool and it allows you're not going to they're not going to collect as much moisture probably because there's not like a full seal around your face right yeah generally you're going to be wearing this, this piece of equipment either when you're you're doing a more high active activity such as like nordic skiing or snowshoeing yep. or you're going to be in a warmer temperature zone where you're not necessarily going to need that that barrier between the cold outside air and the warm inside air. Okay. Right. I suppose if you, if you were uh, fat biking in the winter, this would be a really, really good option. Be a great piece, yep. Oh my gosh. So uh, with uh, with comfort, there's uh, the bridge, which is, what, what kind of is this, poly? So, so this is an un the material called unobtainium, and it's uh, wow. harkens back to the days of when Jim first made motorcycle grips. Okay. Uh, the material was called unobtainium um, yeah. because it was hard to source. Huh. But the cool thing with that is, is that as you sweat, it gets tackier. Uh, so it originally started on a motorcycle grip because back then guys weren't wearing gloves. Mm -hmm. So that material is kind of carried through out our line to this day, and we're still using it as be because as you sweat, it gets tackier, it stays put. Uh, that's great because usually when you sweat, if you you have a, like a hard plastic, it's just going to slide. Yeah, you're kind of doing the whole push it up and down. Yeah, yep. that happens a lot. Yeah. Um, now uh, with the face, there's face foam on here as well. What's the story with that? So the face foam is kind of again harkens back to the the eye shade days where we're able to. Uh, put a brow pad on there and it's going to yep. make it a little more comfortable. So yep. provide a little bit of a seal there yep. and it's going to help, you know, if there's any sweat or uh, mm -hmm. moisture coming off your, your head, help it absorb. Yeah. My my aunt, uh, back in the day, gave yeah. me a pair of her eye shades. Yep. And uh, like, so when you guys like reintroduced these, I was just like inside, just like so pumped. Um, and you know, so the, the, the stems, uh, work well just like a normal kind of like a normal sunglass yep. but you have a little attachment on that white pair what's what's that yeah so this is our, our removable leash this allows you to you know take a, take a pair of glasses again and, and make sure that at the higher speeds that you're moving skiing or snowboard maybe on the glacier in the summer and, and make sure they're going to stay put got it oh man that makes sense yep. cool now uh when would this besides could you wear these in the summer just like around as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. definitely just a higher contrast lens for sure cool yep. ride your motorcycle with it and yep Oh man, so rad. Well, cool. Nick, thanks for walking through the Wind no. Jacket 2.0. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. If you guys have ever seen these or you've ever ridden with them or done anything with them, leave a comment or question below. Uh, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel. And hopefully, I'll see you on snow. Peace.